Let's now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in every celebration of the Eucharist, we can see, taste, and feel the love of God for all of us. May this experience of the Eucharist bring us also to become the salt and light of this world. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, 
let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaan.
let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted. Then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like the midday. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just man is a light in the darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in the darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The just one is a light in darkness. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Heavenly Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace all be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. It is always a pleasure to see our Manila Cathedral family here celebrating with us, to our regular Sunday Mass goers na lagi ko namang nakikita linggo-linggo. Kahit linggo-linggo ko kayong nakikita, Masaya pa rin akong nakikita kayo at hindi nakakasawa. And a warm welcome also to those who are celebrating Mass here at the Manila Cathedral for the first time together with us. For those who may have come from other countries, other places here in the Philippines, maligayang pagdating po. Dito sa Manila Cathedral, welcome home to our Mother Church. And a warm welcome also and greeting for those who may be joining us through the online broadcast of this Mass, through our social media pages, and our other media partners. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat ngayong araw ng linggo na ito. We will begin our reflection this morning by reflecting on a familiar 
gospel reading for many of us. Siguro po nung naririnig ninyo na binabasa ko ang Ebanghelyo, ay pamilyar na pamilyar na kayo dito. When Jesus proclaimed to His disciples, You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Kayo ang asin at ilaw sa mundong ito. It is so familiar that many of us have used these titles. Meron akong nakita na Salt and Light TV, pangalan ng isang TV channel, no? Salt and Light TV. Meron din akong alam na isang choir. Ang pangalan ng choir ay Asin at Ilaw Choir. Meron ding isang charismatic community, Asin at Ilaw Community. Meron nga rin akong nakikita sa atin, mayroong suot na t-shirt, sa harap asin, no? sa likod ilaw. No? Kulang na lang magluto siya, no? asin at ilaw. No? But before we use salt and light as a title and a name for us, let us be reminded today that Jesus did not intend for salt and light to be used as names and titles for us. Bago pa man nating gamitin ito na titulo at pangalan natin, tandaan natin, hindi naman ito sinabi ni Jesus para maging pangalan at titulo natin. Salt must always be tasted. Light must always be seen. Just as love must always be felt, just as goodness should always be done. Salt and light are not names. They are not even taglines. They are a summons for us to work for mercy and justice. Ang pagiging kristyano, sabi ni Jesus, ay parang asin, laging nalalasahan. Ang pagiging kristyano ay parang ilaw, laging nakikita. Ang ibig sabihin nito mga kapatid, ang pagiging kristyano ay hindi lamang sa pangalan, kundi ito ay nararamdaman. Can you say that you are the light of the world if we cannot see light in you? Can we say that we are the salt of the earth if we cannot taste the goodness of God in you? Masasabi ba nating ilaw at asin tayo ng mundong ito kung hindi nakikita sa atin ang ilaw at hindi nalalasahan ang kabutihan ng Diyos? So, useless ang t-shirt mo na may asin at ilaw sa harap at likod kung hindi nakikita ang ilaw at nalalasahan ang asin ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Meron ho akong nakikita dito ng mga mag-asawa. <clears throat> Tatanungin ko kayong mga mag-asawa o mga mag-boyfriend o girlfriend, 
o nagliligawan pa lang dito, paano nyo masasabi o ma- masasabi na mahal kayo ng asawa ninyo? Pwede nyo bang sabihin sa akin na, eh father, sabi ko niya, mahal niya ako. No? <laughs> sabi ko niya palagi sa akin, I love you. No? Pwede ba yun? Hindi. Kailangan iparamdam nyo sa akin. Iparamdam mo sa akin na mahal mo ako. Kinikilig yata yung mga mag-asawa dito. No? Iparamdam, no? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, mahal kita sa salita lang, sa text lang. Mararamdaman mo ang pagmamahal ng isang tao kapag ipinakita ipinaramdam sa iyo ang kanyang pagmamahal that is salt and light that is why in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah according to the prophet the light in you will shine in the darkness when you share your bread with the hungry. When you shelter the oppressed and the homeless. When you give clothes to the naked. When you hear those who cry for help. When you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, when you do all of these things, then you can say that the light of God in you has shone. Hindi mo masasabing nagliliwanag ka na kapag hindi ka naman gumagawa ng kabutihan. Magliliwanag ka pa lang kapag nakita na ng tao ang liwanag ng Diyos, ang liwanag ng kabutihan sa iyo. That is why also in our second reading today from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, St. Paul reminded the Christians in Corinth, I have proclaimed the mystery of God to you not with persuasive words, but with a demonstration of spirit and wisdom and power. Sabi ni San Pablo, kaya epektibo ang kanyang pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos dahil hindi niya tayo binobola lang sa salita kundi pinatotohanan niya ito sa gawa. Kaya tayo, wag tayong magpapabola sa salita. Tingnan muna ang gawa. Ngayon nga eh, nagpadala lang ng picture sa iyo sasabihin mo, ay mahal na niya ako, no? pinadalhan niya ako ng picture. No? Ngayon, kapag, sinap, kapag pinakitaan ka lang ng ganyan, no? ay mahal na niya ako, heart sign. No? Ngayon, usong-uso, no? heart sign. No? He showed me a heart sign. He must love me. No? Kilig na kilig na, pinakitaan lang ng ganyan ng daliri. Kaya, mabilis, mabola. <laughs> kapag sinagot mo na, makikita mo na ang tunay na kulay. <laughs> that is not about being salt and light. That is why Jesus used the image of salt and light to remind us that love, being a Christian, is not only by name. It should be tasted. It should be seen if it cannot be tasted and seen, then it is useless according to Jesus. 
the other day, I saw a very inspiring news. Our brothers and sisters in Sibuyan Island in Romblon are fighting for their lands against commercial mining. And you know, the other day, who was with them, who visited them, their bishop. The bishop and priests supported them. The bishop was not only seen in online mass. He was not even seen just in the church or in the pulpit. The bishop was seen with them, with those who are oppressed, with those who are hungry, with those who are fighting for justice. That is a true salt and light of the world. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded that Jesus summons us to become salt and light of the world, not in name, but in reality. Ang pagiging Kristiyano ay ang pagiging asin at ilaw nakikita na lalasahan ang kabutihan. Ang pagiging asin at ilaw ay hindi lang sa pangalan, kundi makikita sa ating buhay. Amen. Please all stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God is light. From Him comes all light, visible and invisible. We turn to Him in prayer, asking for the graces He wishes to give us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may show the power and radiance of the Spirit to all seeking for truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the bread which comes from God, creation, and human work may be shared fairly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the brilliance of the Gospel may enlighten men and women entrusted with decisions for the good of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be the salt of the earth in our local community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal light may shine on the departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass.
Lord God, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us to share your light with them so that they may praise your goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through His Paschal mystery, He accomplished the marvelous deed by which He has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
Hosanna sabarika asa Hosanna 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 sabarika asa Inakpala You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Thank you. 
patay Tutulungan kang ganap Ang pabulian mo Ay magliliwanan Katulad ng araw Kung tanghalin Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. Tomorrow, 
uh, February 6, we'll, we will commemorate the 444th anniversary of Manila as a diocese. Manila was created a diocese in February 6, 1579, 444 years ago. Before, we are part of the Diocese of Mexico. Ganun kalayo, no? Ang ating obispo dati ay nasa Mexico pa. But in 1579, we were created as our own diocese, no? the Diocese of Manila. And we were given a bishop. Our first bishop was Bishop Domingo de Salazar, a Dominican. And before, the Diocese of Manila is not just Manila, but the whole Philippines. No? Isa lang ang obispo dati, sakop na niya ang buong Pilipinas. At isa lang ang katedral noon, na sakop din ang buong Pilipinas, ang Manila Cathedral. No? Kaya ito ang pinakaunang katedral na ginawa, no? 444 years ago. That is why we call the Manila Cathedral the Mother Church of the Country because this is the first cathedral in the whole Philippines. And so tomorrow is a very important celebration. Our beloved Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula, will celebrate the Mass tomorrow at 6 p.m. here at the Manila Cathedral. All of you are invited and all of you are welcome to celebrate the Mass together with us. And tomorrow also, Cardinal Advincula will formally close the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines Jubilee year. And tomorrow also, we will be exposing the three relics of the three considered patrons and protectors of Manila. Nakikita niyo po sa harapan ang isang icon. You can see the image of Santa Rosa de Lima, of St. Francis of Assisi, and St. Dominic de Guzman. In 2017, we received an important gift from Rome, from Pope Francis. He gave us three relics. Yung isa ay from the habit worn by Santa Rosa de Lima. Yung suot-suot po niyang abito, no? yung habit. Kapiraso noon ay ibinigay sa atin. You can see St. Francis uh, having or holding his walking stick as a pilgrim, yan ang ibinigay sa atin, kapiraso ng kanyang walking stick. And we were also given a bone, a piece of, a small piece from the bones of Saint Dominic de Guzman. So these are all very rare, special and important relics given to the Manila Cathedral as patrons and protectors of Manila. So we invite everyone tomorrow for our celebration at 6 p.m. And this celebration will also be broadcasted online through our social media pages and through TV Maria. Again, our thanks to all of you who have joined us in this celebration. Para po sa mga pilgrims at parte ng Manila Cathedral family na dumalaw dito ngayong linggo na ito, and all those who are joining us through online broadcast, maraming salamat po. And we pray that we may continue to live out our calling of being salt and light in this world. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing now and forever. Amen.
may He free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love now and forever. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Salam.